Abby, that's right. And there's actually a lot that goes into this process. They actually check all the nooks and crannies of each of these rides. And so far, all the rides that they've inspected have passed the test, but there's still a few more to go. This has been a, a great year. Everything has uh, went real smooth. Safety is top of mind for fair officials and the state each year. We put our hands on every ride out here. And as the gates get ready to open Thursday, the rides that have been inspected so far are up to par with the Department of Labor guidelines. We've had boots on the ground since Saturday morning. Checking. Restraints, lap bars, uh, missing our keys, carter pins, uh, wheels, track, looking for cracks. And inspecting. The rides are looking really nice. It takes days to inspect all 70 rides. The Department of Labor, the fair, and owners of the Carnival Show each have inspectors who look at every ride before the fair takes place. The operators do inspections every day before they open their rides. And it's to ensure your safety. These rides get used a lot, so with, it, with anything, when something gets used, mechanical failure can happen. And, you know, even just moving them up and down the highway, you can cause damage to them. And the inspection of all the rides should be complete before they open the gates tomorrow at noon. But hey, if you are heading out here tomorrow, we have a full guide with everything you need to know on the KOCO app. Reporting live at the fairgrounds, Megan Mosley, KOCO 5 News.